Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support products from ANSYS Inc. in the Four Corner States and Nevada. In addition, we provide consulting and training in ANSYS tools worldwide. These tools provide simulation capabilities in fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, as well as systems and multiphysics applications. Hey guys, this is Manoj with PADT. In the next two focus video blogs, I'm going to show you a multiphysics simulation involving doing an eddy current analysis in ANSYS Maxwell, followed by a thermal structural analysis using ANSYS Mechanical. So in this first part of our Maxwell to Mechanical multiphysics simulation, we're going to be looking at how to set up an eddy current analysis using ANSYS Maxwell. As you can see here, I've already brought in a geometry using an external step file. So we'll go into Maxwell itself. It should be noted that geometry can be imported and created natively using ANSYS Maxwell. However, if geometry is created natively in Maxwell for multiphysics approaches, you will have to go to Modeler, Export, and export it as a step file to be used in ANSYS Mechanical. So, as you can see here, I have four parts. I have three bus bars, and then I have a bounding box. The region is simply the volume of fluid. In this case, we'll be looking at a vacuum uh, surrounding the bus bars. Now, the region is important in one ways. Uh, for this type of analysis, the input and output boundaries of our bus bars need to be aligned with the edges of our region. So as you can see here, my outputs and my inputs are all right along the edge of the region. Now the region can either be created within the CAT system itself and imported, or it can be created going by going to draw region. Now when you go to draw region, what it will allow you to do is pad individual directions, which will help you to control whether these boundaries line up with the inputs and output boundaries. So in our case, we already have our bonding box. So what we're going to do is click on the bounding box and go to assign material, and we're going to call it a vacuum. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hide it. Now for my bus bars, we're going to assign a material of copper. So again, right click and go to assign material. Let's find copper and click OK. As you can see here now, they've been split apart into their different material choices. The next thing we're going to do is by default, ANSYS Maxwell will open up as a magnetostatic analysis, but we want an eddy current analysis. So we're going to go ahead and right click and go to solution type. And in here we're going to change from magnetostatic to eddy current and click OK. So now it's time for our boundary conditions. In this particular analysis what we're going to do is we're going to have three pair, three bus bars uh, that are each going to carry 70, 70 amps uh, but with, at different phases. So the first one we're going to go and select, go to edit, select faces. It's going to orient this perfectly. The first bus bar, we're going to have an input, and so we're going to click on that face, right click on excitations, go to assign current, and we're going to call this bus1 underscore in. We can see which direction that the current is flowing, and so instead we'll be putting in a 7070 amps at a 240 degree phase, and click OK. And we can expand that out to see it. The next one will be bus 2, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Right click, assign current, I'm going to say bus 2 in. It's going to be the same amp, but at a different phase. And finally, for bus 3, we're going to have 77 amps at 0 degree phase. For our outputs, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to have bus 1. We're going to assign a current. We're going to say bus 1 underscore out. It's going to be the same amps and the same phase. But now we're going to swap the direction so it flows out. And click OK. The second one is going to be bus 2. We're going to go assign current bus 2 underscore out. 
70, 70 amps, 120 degrees, and we're going to swap the direction again. And finally, we have our bus 3. We'll have an excitation. Bus 3 underscore out, 70, 70 amps, 0 degrees, swap direction. And there we have it. So now what we need to do is we need to add a solution step. So we're going to go to analysis, right click, and go to add solution step. In this case, I found out for this analysis, we want to go up to 15 number of passes and click OK. Then right click on analysis and click analyze all. You'll see the loading bar at the bottom right and we'll follow that along for a few minutes. What we can do is in the meantime, go to setup and go to convergence and be able to see all the different passes and the energy error. In our case, we're trying to get to an energy and delta energy percent error of 1% respectively. So we're going to let this sit for a few seconds. Looks like it's almost there, maybe one more pass and it should do it. From this table, you can see that ANSYS Maxwell automatically refines the mesh and refines the mesh up until that energy error percentage has been reached. So as you can see here, it started with 990 tetrahedral elements and ended up with 32,000 elements to get that less than 1% error in each. So now this is done. So we can go ahead and close. So now our eddy current analysis is complete. And what we can do is we can go look at some field overlays. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit, Select Objects. I'm going to select all three of them. Go to Field Overlays, Fields. I'm going to look at the magnitude J. Go to All Objects and click Done. And so what we can see is when we look at the J mag, you can see the J plot. So now what we want to do is we can close out of this and in the next part we will talk about how to import this into ANSYS Mechanical to do the structural and thermal aspect. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise see you next time.